Hey everyone, today we're gonna to be talking about some digital organization tips for the new year or whatever time of year you're watching this video. Because even if it's the new year and you're making resolutions, one of the areas that we spend the most time in, but we sometimes overlook is our digital spaces. So in today's video, I'm gonna be going over 12 areas that you can get a fresh start in for the new year. And I'm gonna challenge you to try at least one of these during or after the video and go ahead and comment below which one you end up using to get a fresh start on the new year. And if you do more than one, bonus points for you. You. All right, since you're probably watching this on YouTube, one of the top tips I like to give for the new year is to clear out your watch later queue. Now, if you're someone who doesn't use the watch later feature, go ahead and skip ahead to the next part. I'll put the timestamp in the video below. But I use my watch later all the time to save videos I want to watch at a later time, and then I just never get around to it. So instead of saving videos for a particular reason or things that I just want to have queued up in my watch later, what you can do instead is organize videos into playlists and ones you know you're really not going to watch just go ahead and delete them. If they've been in your watch later queue for a few months and you still haven't watched them, that is a good sign that you should probably delete them right away and give yourself a fresh start for the new year. Tip number two is to unsubscribe from mailing lists. These are things like newsletters, junk mail, promotional emails, but newsletters I'm gonna focus on especially because these are things that tend to clock up our inbox because they get sent on a daily or weekly or monthly basis. And you may tell yourself that you're going to read them, but you end up never having time to actually read them. Personally, one of these is Nautilus, which is a science email newsletter. I rarely have the time to sit down and actually go through this one. There's other email newsletters that I actually do take the time to read, um, but this one I'm gonna have to sacrifice for this new year. It's gonna be worth the time now to unsubscribe from instead of having to delete them every day or ignore them in my inbox forever. Speaking of unsubscribing, make sure you check on your digital subscriptions, make sure you're not paying for or have a recurring fee or charge for anything that you're not actually using actively. Even if it's an annual charge, go ahead and make sure that you've cleared out or canceled all the subscriptions that you're not actively using for this coming year. Now back to email, clean out your inbox. I am somebody who does not like to have a bunch of unread emails in my inbox, but whether you are a bunch of unread email person or someone like me who likes to keep their inbox as close to zero as possible to go ahead and organize it. Especially if you use a free email service like Gmail that fills up after a certain amount of time, you wanna make sure you you keep that inbox nice and tidy and you're not clogging it up with junk. So what I would do is for the emails that you definitely need to keep, use folders. I used to have a really intense folder system when I was teaching. I still use folders now. It's just a little bit less detailed, but they can be extremely useful if you want to put something away in a spot you'll be able to find it in instead of relying on the search bar, which doesn't always provide the results that I need it to. I also have taught myself to utilize snooze a lot. So if there's an email I know I'll need to come back to in a few days or months or weeks, I use that snooze feature to hide it from my main inbox and then it pops right up at the top when I've scheduled it to arrive. Number four, you should empty your digital trash. So that means your email trash. That means the trash in your desktop or in your drive or whatever cloud service you have on your phone, your recently deleted images and anywhere else you can think of where you have trash accumulating. Not only does this take up digital space, but it's good to just free yourself of that stuff and start fresh for the new year. You may want to do a quick scan to make sure nothing important has ended up in your digital trash, but it is nice to be able to save the space in whatever service you're using. All right, my number five digital organization tip is to organize rogue documents and files that do not have a home in your digital space. So I think about this when I think about Google Drive. Sometimes I just create a document or a slideshow without creating a folder for it because I'm in a rush. But now is a great time to go ahead and put those documents or files where they belong and somewhere that you can easily find them in the future. You may not remember the exact title of a file, but you might remember the category in which it belongs, which can help you later on when you are searching for it if you still need it. If you don't need it, put in the trash. So check on your desktop. That's a common place where rogue documents are stored just in your main Google Drive or in your downloads folder. Remember, save important documents in a clear space and get rid of the ones that you do not need. All right, let's talk about apps. On your phone or on your computer, you wanna organize, update, and delete the ones you don't need. So think about all the apps on your phone, all the apps on your desktop. If there is an app that is not critical to your school or your work and you haven't used it in over a year, you can say goodbye to it and re-download it at a later date if you need it. Same thing goes for apps that are not making your life better. If you find yourself sucked into a particular social media app and you're wasting time and it's 
heightening your stress levels. Go ahead and delete it for just the month of January or just a few weeks and see how you feel without it on your phone or on your computer or desktop. You don't have to delete your account, just remove the app itself and see how it affects your digital habits. While you're at it, check the privacy settings on all of your social accounts. Make sure you're not sharing anything that you don't want to share with other people and that profiles that you want to keep private are still private, et cetera, et cetera. You can even do a Google search on yourself to make sure that only the things that want to show up and are out there in the world are what come up in an incognito Google search. Remember to unsubscribe from or delete accounts that suck your productivity and your mental health or your general well-being. This is a great time for a fresh start. Different people have different app organization strategies. I know mine's a little weird. I like to organize them by icon color, but if you like to organize them in any way, think about which ones you use the most, which ones you have the most need for, or which categories you'll know where to look when you're trying to use them. It's amazing how fast our fingers can work if we're in a habit of pulling up a particular app. So if also there's a social media app that you wanna hide from yourself, you can reorganize your home screen and put it somewhere that's a little bit harder to access if you need to distance yourself from that app or tool. All right, number seven, go through your notes app on your phone. If you keep a notes app or where use the journal app or Google Keep. Make sure you remove anything that doesn't make sense to you anymore or is just a draft. Again, we're saving digital space and we're making it easier to find the important things down the road. All right, here's what I'm very guilty of is I keep a lot of bookmarks on my computer. A lot of them I don't remember what they're for, but go ahead and go through your bookmarks bar and try to delete the things that you don't know why you saved them or you know that you can just find with a quick Google search in the near future. You can even create folders within your bookmarks bar if you want. I do not keep these organized for myself, but I know some people who thrive with a good organized bookmark system. All right, number nine, make calendar events for important goals, events, and reminders. So this I found is really key if you have a subscription coming up that you need to cancel, or if you need to remember to buy a gift for somebody's birthday, you have the birthday event on your calendar, put an alert one week before the birthday so you remember to do that task or goal. If you set lofty goals or resolutions for yourself, make calendar events as reminders or benchmarks along the way towards meeting your goal. This will hopefully pop up automatically for you. Utilizing your calendar in a productive and forward thinking way can really be a step up in your digital life. All right, number 10, we're getting a little bit into the hardware space. This is charger maintenance. You want to inventory where your piles where you keep all your chargers, get rid or put to the side ones that you know you don't need access to immediately and untangle and make sure all the ones that you have are in working order and you know exactly where to find them. Number 11, also hardware. You wanna clean your keys on your keyboard or your laptop. You wanna clean your screens, use an eyeglass cleaner cloth or special product, but just give your device a little bit of a physical refresh for the new year. This will keep it functioning properly and it looks nice. And finally, the last Last one, which is probably the most annoying for some people, and that is update your operating systems on your phone and on your laptops or tablet, ever other devices that you have. These are gonna keep your computers and phones secure. It is going to make sure that they're operating at their optimum potential. It's gonna keep things moving quickly, and it'll make sure if there's any problems, you have the most up-to-date system for your device. As long as you don't have a very old device that you know updating the operating system will just brick it in the process. All right, those are my top tips for organizing your digital life this new New year. Let me know if you have any other organization tips or hacks in the comments below. Good luck in this new year. Thanks so much for watching. Give this video a like if it's been helpful and I'll see you later.